All right, guys, we're back today with part two of our short block assembly on this 312 Y block. And the very first thing you got to know is that the lifter is the very first part that goes in a Y block. Not the crank, not the main bearings, the lifters. Because they're mushroom, they have to go in from the bottom. And if you have the crank and rods, it's uh, in the engine before you try to put these in, it's just about impossible. So lifters go in the engine first. So next, we got our camshaft installed. Got our uh, Molly lube on the lobes, lifters. We even threw some on the distributor gear. And just like our uh, camshaft video, we have the spacer and the woodruff key already installed before we put the cam in. All right, and next up, we've installed our thrust plate. We've used new grade eight bolts and we've torqued it to 24 foot pounds. All right, before we lay our crank in, we'll be installing a Best Gasket rubber rear main seal. And it looks like this. It's a black rubber rear main. And when you look at seals, I get this question. Anytime you see the cup edge, the, uh, the scoop part of the seal always goes toward the fluid. So as we move over here, before we install it, we're going to make sure that this area is good and clean. And we've already looked at that uh, during our final wash process. Um, one thing to note, too, is these uh, ribs in the back of a Y block can be really thin. All right, so we have our seal installed in the block. We've put an ever so slight layer of ultra gray on the back edge of this seal only. This is not if a little is good, a lot's better thing. This is just a very light coat on the very back edge just to help it adhere to the block. Um, we do have a little bit of stagger. We don't get crazy with this, but we just make the seals parting line slightly different than the blocks parting line. Um, now we have our mains all pre-lubed and installed and we're getting ready to put the crankshaft in it. All right, so we're getting ready to put our main cap on and one of the most important things you got to know is that the tang for the bearing alignment they match so as you can see here on our block there's the tang for the bearing alignment when you put the main cap on the tangs will be on the same side so we've put our first main in and the first main we always put in an engine is the thrust main and that's something we want to talk to you guys about is in play so now that we've got our crankshaft installed, we're checking our in play. And as we can see here, it's got about eight thou. And that's a good number. Five is the minimum. Five is the minimum you want to see. And um, if you were to get over 14 or something like that, it's, it's probably not going to hurt you. But that would be a little bit excessive but plenty of engines have run there. So one thing we want to talk about on this is checking your oil clearances. And this is a completely 100% stock 312 build. So we're just gonna show you a plastic gauge and that specs out right at about two thousandths when you compare it to their little chart. But on a good street build like this, um, 
2000 clearance on the mains is no problem and as long as you're checking the clearance somehow you know is one of the most important things when you're building an engine is if something is wrong you fix it then okay you cannot be in a hurry when you're building engines it's wrong fix it do not keep going and if this clearance was any tighter then we would take this crank and we would either have a heavy polish done on the mains or we would start in the solvent tank and you're using scotch bright in your shaping your bearings to get the clearances that you want um, if we were building a race engine we get out our dial bore gauges set up our micrometers and we check everything we've got the camshaft and all of the stuff on the front of the cam installed and we do have a good video on that we weren't going to go into it completely here if you guys do need to know how to put all the spacers and shims and check balls and springs on the front of the cam uh, we have a video for that um, we have checked our in play has about three thousandths and we have our timing chain installed as per the y block method we have our 12 pins between the dots and our dots are at three o'clock so this is going to conclude our part two version of our 312 short block if you guys like the video hit like subscribe and tomorrow we'll come back and we'll do uh, the full installation of the rear main seal and cover and we'll put all the pistons in it and wrap it up so have a good night guys